What kind of syrup? Okay. Maple syrup. So how do I make maple syrup? I get the syrup from trees. I just go and tap a tree and I get syrup coming out. No? No? You have to um, drill something that gets the syrup out. And, um, so I drill a first spile and I still get syrup out. How about if I just get sap out? Um. <laughs> <laughs> okay, when I get it out of sap. It only has about 2% sugar. It's very little sugar. So it takes like 39 gallons of sap to make one gallon of syrup. And when it comes out of the tree, it looks a lot like water. And it tastes a lot like water, except there's just ever so light, slight taste of sugar in it. When it comes to the tree, you bring it up from the tanks. I've got a valve back here. It's called a float valve. And this, as my sap level drops in my pan, Fresh sap comes in and keeps filling my pan up. So I have to keep working until the tanks are empty. So this pan is called a continuous evaporating pan because it is one big pan that works its way all the way around and ends up over here. And I've got a gate valve right here and I'm stopping it because I don't want to dilute what's going to become my syrup. You see how dark that is? Whoa. Which one of these sections will be a little darker or a little lighter depending on which way I'm going? What gives it its color? What makes it brown? Uh, Anybody? You guys make toast at home? Yeah. Heat. yeah. Put brown in? Oh, what? what? The burning. The burning or the heat, right. Okay, there's something in there. The heat's doing something. It's changing something. It's caramelizing the sugar. So the sugar in the bread or the sugar in my sap 